Now, we've been talking about managerial vacancies a lot today. Uh, Ipswich's Kieran McKenna's name has been brought up several times. Um, our chief reporter, Carvis Holocaust, back on set alongside me. Um, a, a, a manager clearly that Ipswich do not want to lose. But you've got a bit of an update for us. Yes, I mean, Kieran McKenna is a man in demand. Uh, but Ipswich are going to do their best this summer to hold on to him and they're planning on having talks with him about his future. Now, he's a leading candidate to become the next head coach of Chelsea, also a leading candidate to become the next head coach of Brighton. Also, he will definitely be on the shortlist if and when the Manchester United job becomes available, depending on what happens with the future of Eric Ten Hag. Now, Ipswich Town, of course, are aware of these links uh, with other clubs, but they have not had an official approach for McKenna from any other club. And his contractual situation is that last summer he signed a new four-year contract. So he has a contract at Ipswich for another three years. It runs to the summer of 2027. And I think Ipswich are now considering whether they should offer him a new contract. But of course, it remains to be seen whether he would be interested in signing a new deal. Um, obviously, back-to-back -back promotions from League One via the Championship to the Premier League is, is very impressive in anyone's book. But what else makes him attractive, do you think, to, for those particular vacancies you've mentioned that there are vacancies right now, Brighton and Chelsea? I mean, the job he's done at Ipswich is nothing short of remarkable. He took a team who were languishing in League One uh, took them up into the championship. In the championship last season, they were one of the clubs with the smallest budgets. They ended up finishing second. They got automatic promotion. He's taken Ipswich back into the Premier League and he's done it by playing very progressive, exciting football uh, with a lot of possession, scoring a lot of goals. And obviously, clubs in the Premier League who are looking for new head coaches, new managers, have noticed that. And that is why he's been linked with other jobs. Now, my sense is that if he was to leave Ipswich, he would not have a lot of difficulties in walking into another job at a Premier League club. Now, do I think he will be offered the Chelsea job? I'm not sure. Do I think he'll be offered the Manchester United job? I'm not sure if he'll get a job at that level of a club straight away from Ipswich. Maybe people at those clubs would think it is quite a big step to go from Ipswich to a Chelsea or a Manchester United. But he is definitely on Chelsea's shortlist. He's definitely a candidate for the Chelsea job. But I think the only uh, sort of concerns they may have about him is his lack of experience managing in the Premier League and also managing in Europe. Uh, but... He's had an incredible career so far. He's got experience of being a coach at Manchester United, uh, being a coach at Tottenham as well. So he is going to be a big name in management for a very, very long time. Uh, but let's not forget about Ipswich because he has a contract with them and they will do what it takes. They will do their best to try and keep hold of him. Mm. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, managers at this stage of their careers when they haven't had a certain experience, be it Premier League or be it European football, sometimes it pays off. You know, the, the likes of maybe Roberto De Zerbi coming in after Graham Potter, sometimes Frank Lampard at Chelsea, it, it doesn't it doesn't work out. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bold tactic for sure. Um, I just wonder, you mentioned Manchester United before. Now, Kieran McKenna has links with Manchester United, under 18 coach, also then first team coaching staff. Worked under the likes of Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Ralf Ranić as, as well. Can you see him being a fit there or is that a bridge too far? A romantic tale to return somewhere that he's already got previous? I think if you compared it to the job at Chelsea, I think it would be a slightly easier job for him, Manchester United, than going to Chelsea. I think, look, both clubs there is a lot going on behind the scenes Manchester United have uh, you know multiple owners new sporting directors recruitment directors people on gardening leave uh, 
Uh, lots of things potentially could be changing at the club this summer. So it is a massive job. It is a very volatile situation as well. And then you've got Chelsea. Everybody knows what happens at Chelsea, how demanding the owners are. I think if Kieran McKenna was in the position, which he's not, because the Manchester United job is not available at the moment, where he had to choose between the two clubs, I think possibly Manchester United would be the club where you would get more time. And it's a club where he's worked before. So maybe that would be the easier option for him. I just think Chelsea, yeah. the Chelsea job is so high profile and the owners are so demanding uh, that straight away you've got to be the kind of character, the kind of personality who is going to go head to head with Pep Guardiola, who's going to go toe to toe with Mikel Arteta. Uh, is Kieran McKenna that man? We don't know. But he has proved himself uh, at Ipswich because he's done a job at Ipswich, which you would have to say, how many other managers would be able to achieve what he's achieved in such a short it's, period of time? It's really interesting, isn't it? We've got to make this clear. Eric Ten Hag is still in post right now, right? You know, there is Absolutely. no vacancy right there at, uh, at Old Trafford. So, you know, that, that's, that's clear. Uh, but should there be, it would be an interesting play. Uh, these two clubs are the ones who've really generated the most headlines this season. It's been, let's be frank about it, quite bonkers at times. You know, when you look at Chelsea, both on and off the pitch, and, and indeed Manchester United with, you know, Ineos and, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe, etc. Ironically, Brighton feels like the safest bet, doesn't it? Because it, they're a club who are just progressing. Yes, they've had changes of manager, but it feels like it's a, a, a more stable situation, maybe. Would that, would that be a yeah, fair, it's, fair it's, thing to it's say? It's one of the best-run clubs in the world. Yeah. Uh, it is a club that has an incredible structure, people behind the scenes working there. If he was to move to that club, he would have everything he needs uh, to thrive in the Premier League. And obviously, as you said, with all due respect to Brighton, they don't have the kind of media spotlight that a Chelsea or a Manchester United do because there's not so much going on uh, off the pitch and behind the scenes uh, and so much politics. So you're kind of talking like you may be one of his representatives advising him where he should go and you're saying to him, Kieran, maybe Brighton is the best place <laughs> for you to take I know, the but next I, step but in I your can, career. But you know what, I and can I, see I, it because I, I totally of Potter, understand because that. of De Zerbi, but equally yeah, I think yeah. on the pitch, Carver, we're just a bit short of time, but on the pitch, I think expectations are raised, aren't they, at Brighton, yeah. because of the historic seasons under De Zerbi and cl clearly before what, what, uh, what Graham Potter laid the foundations for.